Hey guys, it's Mary Beth with Rover's Makeover. This here is Charlie. He's a new client. Um, I just did his sister, who's a weenie dog. They are both extremely nervous. Um, big panther and lots of drool. So we want to really make sure and clean the face and the paws have a lot of slobber on them also. Um, the owner wants him really short. So the shortest I'm comfortable going is a 10. So we're gonna do a 10, a 10 all over. And if that doesn't look good, then we'll do a number seven reverse, which is about the same length. So yeah, let's get started with the bath. You're okay, buddy. No. I'm going to be right back. Um, I'm going to have to put him in a cage. I have to go get a muzzle. He's acting like he's going to bite me. All right, guys. We're back. Uh-uh. No. Anal glands have to be done. If they're not done, they can become impacted. Um, if they become impacted, then it's surgery. And his are full, otherwise I wouldn't be messing with it. No, 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 no. I had a comment a couple videos ago when they were like, well, why would you not rinse your hand off after doing the anal glands? Why did you just go rub it, rub it all over the dog? Guys, I just deleted the comment. Like, really, you think I'm just going to leave that nasty, stinky stuff on my hand? <laughs> okay, so before I bathe this face, I'm going to take this muzzle off. Because all that water will get stuck in that muzzle and can essentially drown him. No. No. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse him. This dog and his sister are very nervous, so I'm going to go ahead and cage dry them. Um, if you didn't see the other video, his sister was um, trying to bite on the nails and just was really nervous. So she's already in the dryer. I'm just going to go ahead and put him in the dryer too. The cage dryer.
down. Down. No. 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 Hey, stop. We'll be writing down on their both of their cards that they are both jump risks. Um, they've tried to jump off the table. They've tried to jump out of the cages. And guys, that can be really serious. If a dog jumps, and especially if they're overweight like this, and they jump, they get they'll hit their head. Um, so they're in capital letters on their card. It's going to say jump risk. So we'll just get these guys dry. And then we will get to finish grooming them. All right, I'm sorry if you hear some construction noise going on. Uh, they're doing something outside, I think, to my next door neighbor, uh, the next door business. So we're just going to get started with him. Um, basically short all over, short face, short tail. So, yeah. <laughs> Got to take a before picture before I started filming. Easy. Easy. Uh-uh. We're not doing that. You both. You both don't like your feet touched. Huh. Muzzle's a little big, but the other one's back at the bathtub still, and I don't want to leave her on the table, leave him on the table unattended. So that'll work. Gotta be done. This hair on the paw pad is really dark. Uh, there's some kind of allergy going on there. No. No. You're okay. Hey, I'm not hurting you. You're okay. You're okay.
Okay, no. All right, here comes the fun part of doing the nails. I'm gonna bring y'all over here. I am not hurting him. He does not like it. If he'll let me do the Dremel, it'll just be faster. No. Um, that muzzle, he doesn't like it. It's not interfering with his breathing. He can breathe just fine. He can lick. He can pant. I'm going to keep it on him. He is very, very touchy. No. Very, very touchy with his feet. Um, so that's going to stay on. No. All right, guys, this is a prime example. This does not look very smooth. There's different rough spots. So I'm going to go ahead and take a seven blade. And as you'll see, it's about the same length. It may take off a little more, but no. But that's what the owner wanted. She wanted it shorter. Okay, so that looks so much smoother. Okay. 
That right there is some oil that was left over on my blades from cleaning. It'll it'll go away. Stand up. No. No. I'm really trying to keep the hair away from me today. I wore the wrong pants for grooming today. I have fleece pants on, and if y'all have dogs, you know that fleece and dog hair don't go together. No. So I am going to take the tin blade to do the feet, just because it'll give it a smoother look. You will see that? This is why you need to go slow when you're cutting. Um, if we were to cut that off, there would be major bleeding. It is not a tick. I know it kind of looks like a tick in the video. This is just a huge skin tag. Um, we need to be careful around it. No! Okay guys, I'm not gonna make it, no. I'm not gonna make it perfect um, around that just because I don't wanna risk cutting it. No.
I already told this story in another video, but I'm going to tell it in this one too. Um, I was taking my daughter to, to, to work, taking my daughter to school. Today is her last day of ABA therapy. Uh, we just feel that ABA is no longer the best option for her. If you don't know what ABA is, it is for children and adults that have autism to help them just get functional skills and stuff. Well, it's not, I mean, we took a break and then she went back and we haven't really seen in the three, no, no, no. In the three months that she's been there, we really haven't seen a, any progression of anything, you know, um, but anyway, off topic. We were on, I was taking her to school and on our way there, I saw this elderly man in his electric wheelchair going down 39th, which was peak time for everyone who was taking their kids to school. Um, I was afraid he was going to get hit, and it's cold outside. It's like 35 degrees outside, you know, just get hypothermia, whatever it may be. So I called the police non-emergency number and just let them know, hey, there's a guy, I'm afraid he's going to get hit, so just, hey, no, just let them know that um, if you don't try to bite, I'll keep it off of you. You try to bite, we're going to have some issues. Just call to let them know that um, that guy was there and because all the people in front of me kept slamming their brakes on and I didn't know, you know, why they were slamming their brakes on. Well, that's why they were slamming their brakes on. And you sit. care if you drool, just don't do it on me. You just drool everywhere. You've been drooling when you got here. Come on, now turn. There you go. Yuck. Yuck. Same thing on this side. Just gonna go with tin on the feet.
the quicks on both of these dogs are really long. Um, Take a seven to do the sanitary. No, no, no. Easy. No. Okay, you can see there's a lump right here. Um, probably just a benign fatty tumor. Older dogs tend to get them along with moles and warts and skin tags. Um, it just comes with old age as, you know, we get older, we get wrinkles and stuff too. No, 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 no. The armpit has some little mats in it. Get those out. No. For pulling. No. Ah, 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 ah. No, 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 no. Watch your face, guys. Always watch your face. No, ah, uh, ah, uh, no. We're not gonna bite. We're not gonna bite. No, 
sir. No, no, no. He can breathe, guys, I promise. I am going to charge more for these guys. Um, if the dog takes longer, they're aggressive, you know, all that kind of, kind of stuff. Uh, they won't stand up because they're overweight. It's just all that adds time and energy, you know. It's not about the money, guys. It's about the wear and tear on our equipment, the wear and tear on our bodies, um, the stress on the dogs, like it's, I don't charge extra just because I want more money. I charge extra because it's needed. Uh, you know, if people would train their dog better, you know, it would, okay, so, a dog like this, you know, you want to mess with their feet. You know, she, they don't like this. You want to go in between their paw pads. You want to mess with their ears. You want to mess with their face. You want to mess with their body. You want to get them used to, you know, the vet and everybody picking their feet up. You want to get them used to going like this and, you know, having their tail held up because even if I'm not doing anal glands, that's how the vet takes their temperature. So there's all these things that you can do to get your dog more used to being handled. No. But my number one recommendation is to mess with the feet in between the toes, in between the paw pads. Like that's my number one recommended thing to work on. If you have a new puppy, every day, a couple times a day. I mean, just for a minute. Just um, get them used to messing with their feet. And the face and ears is another big one. Because if I can't cut a dog's face, I don't know what to do. I mean, if a dog won't let me near its face, I, you can't muzzle it. I mean, you got to trim their face. So it's, it just makes it difficult. You're okay, girl. Oh, I am ready to be done with y'all. Y'all are wearing me out. Y'all are just very, no, very difficult. Just no. Don't even act like you're going to bite me with that on. All right, now I'm gonna move to his neck and face. And then I'm gonna do an ear cleaning video because his ears are pretty bad. That'll be separate, it won't be in this video.
because people are getting mad at me for doing double duplicate videos. Whatever. Guys, I don't feel good today. I only got four hours of sleep because of whatever I have going on. So that's why I'm just not in a good mood today. No. Okay, the neck is done. I'm gonna put him back on the noose. It looks like the ears and everything have been previously shaved. Stop. There's also been some comments of people saying, oh, well, you didn't clean the ears. You didn't, you didn't do this. You didn't do that. I don't film everything, guys. I mean, if I sat here and filmed everything, each dog would take me an extra hour because I've got to move the camera. I've got to make sure it's in focus, make sure the audio's good, just all that stuff I have to do to make sure it's good quality video. You know, sometimes I forget to do something, I'll stop recording, I'll even say, you know, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and then I'll remember, and I'm not going to go back and put it in the vlog. Like, if I forget something, I do it. I just may be forgotten at that time. Stop. No. Okay, so I'm going to do a seven on the top of his head just because the owner does want it really short. And then we'll do his tail. No. No. All I have to say is people who make hateful comments, you are more than welcome to start your own YouTube channel and, you know, create your own videos. And if you want to show me some, create a channel. Send me the link. I'll watch it. But, I mean, I just don't think people realize how much criticism you get when you have a YouTube channel. 
you know, everyone wants to comment negative, but if some if you see something positive, you know, we don't we don't get positive praise. Because positive praise is, you know, just expected and people would rather rather leave negative comments. Quit. Will you stop? No. You don't even do anything. You're just a whiny dog. Stop. This nasty mustache. Quit. I might just shave this off, guys. It's so it's so gross. All that hair that he's pulling in his mouth. All right, guys. I'm gonna show his teeth because these are nasty looking teeth. See that? That is so gross, guys. I mean, look at that. That is the reason I don't offer teeth brushing. Um, I mean, if I brush the dog's teeth, stop. If I brush the dog's teeth, once every three months. I mean, if we did that, the dentist would be like, why are you even brushing your teeth? There's just no point. It doesn't do anything. Another reason why I recommend crunchy food versus soft. I don't know what these guys are eating, but. <sighs> hey, you make me so nervous. Just a risk. Hey, I know you hear my next door neighbors. This guy is so loud. Sorry guys, I get dizzy when I sneeze. You're okay, girl. You're okay, girl. They're loud, huh? Let me see. Quit. Quit. Okay. Like I said, I will clean the inside of the ears on another video. So here's the tail. The slicker brush. Okay. 
brush it real quick. This tail's matted. It's gonna have to come off. I'm not going to cause pain to the dog if you can't take care of your dog. Okay, so um, I'll put a bandana on him, spray a doggy cologne, and then he'll be done. But I'm going to stop the video here because I still have to clean his ears, but that's going to be on a different video. So like, dislike, um, comment, video suggestions down below. Anything you want to talk about, ask me, leave it down below, and I'll get them answered. Thanks, guys.